If you're anything like us, you've spent countless hours trying to find that perfect digital home for your thoughts, projects, and learning. The knowledge management space has exploded, but two names consistently dominate the conversation. Obsidian and LogSec. Both are local-first, markdown-based acknowledgement management tools that work more like a digital brain, but they have fundamentally different approaches. Over the past few years, both apps have matured significantly. So, which one is better suited to link your thoughts and become your second brain? Let's start with looking at where you'll actually be spending all your time. The interface. When you open Obsidian, you're greeted with a flexible workspace designed for long-form writing and document creation. It's inherently page-centric. You create files with distinct titles, and you can arrange them with folders. This structure makes perfect sense if you're writing academic papers, detailed project documentation, or just prefer a traditional file system approach. LogSec, on the other hand, starts with a completely different mindset. It's outliner first, and you'll notice this immediately on its daily journal page, which is the default landing spot. Everything in LogSec is a block, a bullet point that can be nested under other bullet points. This hierarchical structure is good for quick capture, brainstorming, and daily logging. While Obsidian can certainly act like an outliner with plugins, LogSec is fundamentally built this way. If your brain works by constantly bullet pointing and nesting ideas, LogSec's structure will feel more intuitive right out of the box. Now, moving beyond the initial aesthetic, let's talk about the core note-taking features themselves. Since both use Markdown, the basics of formatting are quite similar, but their core philosophy separates them, especially when it comes to how you reference information. In Obsidian, the note itself is the star. You link to an entire note using double brackets. If you need to reference a specific paragraph or line, you use something called a block reference, which, while powerful, is more of an add-on feature. This is great for users who value a document-like structure. LogSec, conversely, treats every single block with its own unique identity. This means you can reference or embed any bullet point from any note into another. For task management, LogSec also has a big advantage by treating tasks natively as first-class objects. You can set priorities, deadlines, and schedule them directly. Obsidian still primarily relies on its external tasks plugin to achieve that level of functional task management. So, for quick thought capture, task lists, and high granularity referencing, LogSec's block-centric nature is a major selling point. Speaking of referencing, we have to address backlinks, the engine that makes a second brain actually work by showing you all the places a note is mentioned. Obsidian has always excelled here with a dedicated panel that lists unlinked mentions as well, which is huge for discovering connections you didn't consciously make. Its backlink pane is powerful and easily accessible in a sidebar, providing context around the link. LogSec also handles backlinks beautifully, but in a way that's tied into its outliner nature. You often see linked references right at the bottom of the page that displays the content where the current note is mentioned. And because of the block-level architecture, LogSec can show you precisely which block references your current note. The core difference here is that Obsidian presents backlinks in a dedicated, static list, whereas LogSec interweaves them with the content flow, which can sometimes make the connections feel more immediate. Moving on to visualization, we look at graph view and mind mapping. The Obsidian graph view is legendary for a reason. It's powerful, highly customizable with filters, and visually impressive. For visual learners or researchers trying to map out a massive network of ideas, the global graph is an indispensable tool. It helps you zoom out and see the forest, not just the trees. Furthermore, its performance, even with vaults containing thousands of notes, tends to be snappy. LogSec's graph view, while functional and providing that same high-level overview, hasn't traditionally been as visually customizable or performant at scale as Obsidian's. However, LogSec has really leaned into a different type of visualization with its whiteboards feature. 
While Obsidian has its own canvas, Logsec's whiteboards are natively tied to its block structure, which means you can pull any block or page onto the whiteboard as a card and spatially arrange them. They're both moving into the visual space, but Obsidian's graph is the definitive knowledge map, while Logsec's whiteboards are the definitive visual workspace. And this leads us perfectly into the plugins, where the customization factor goes through the roof. Honestly, Obsidian's plugin ecosystem is its biggest strength. With well over 1,500 community plugins and a core philosophy that relies on community extensibility, you can transform Obsidian into virtually anything. For any niche workflow you can imagine, there's likely an Obsidian plugin for it. Logsec, being open source, has a thriving plugin community too, but it's significantly smaller. Crucially, Logsec often builds core functionality natively into the app, which Obsidian handles via plugins. If you prefer a complete, works-out-of-the-box experience with fewer moving parts, Logsec is appealing. But if you demand maximum flexibility and the ability to customize every corner of your app, Obsidian wins by a landslide here. Following up on the idea of visual spaces, let's look closer at the canvas in Obsidian and the whiteboards in Logsec. Obsidian's canvas, launched a while ago, is truly an infinite spatial board. You can drag in notes, images, media, web links, and even other canvases, and freely arrange them to storyboard narratives, chart processes, or cluster research sources. It's disconnected from the file structure in a way that promotes pure spatial thinking, and you manually draw connections between elements. Logsec's whiteboards, while visually similar, are unique because, as we mentioned, they are directly linked to the underlying graph. When you pull a block onto the whiteboard, it's still the same block in your system. This means any changes on the whiteboard update the original note, and vice versa. This integration is really powerful. Beyond functionality, making your tool feel like yours is important, so let's talk about customizations. This again echoes the plugin debate. Obsidian is rooted for visual and functional customization. Thanks to its massive community, you have hundreds of themes to change the visual look, and the sheer number of plugins means you can customize exactly how you interact with your notes, your data, and your sidebars. Logsec also allows for themes and customizations, of course, but the available themes and the level of functional flexibility are inherently more limited by its rigid, outliner-first design. It offers great customization within its framework, but the framework itself is fixed. So, if you're a tinkerer who enjoys spending hours perfecting your dashboard, Obsidian clearly gets an edge. So, after all this, which knowledge management tool is better for you? Choose Obsidian if you prioritize long-form writing, traditional document structure, superior graph visualization, and absolute maximum functional customization via its massive plugin ecosystem. Choose Logsec if you prefer a native outliner for quick capture, daily journaling, native task management, and a high granularity block-based system. Try both for a week and let the one that fits your thinking style be your winner. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.